Ah! Stan, your beloved Kevin James headshot! Ah, th this whole murderer loose in my house thing has got me pretty stressed out. You know what the number one killer is? Stress. The killer could be anywhere. We gotta stick together. <gasps> Stan, look out! Lewis is the killer! He's just giving me a shave, buddy. What's got you so worked up? Uh, the killer? Oh, right. I was pretty worked up about that, too. Then my boy Lewis here offered to shave my worries away. Barber, do you offer manscaping? You guys are useless. Do everything but the taint. I'm growing that out. What the hell is going on in here? Oh, hey, guys. I ran into a little snag. But I called my boy Vikram. He is the highest-rated Postmates driver in Virginia, and he's on his way with some euros. Klaus, Tuttle is missing, probably dead. And now you expect me to tell my guests that dinner is going to be ten minutes late? If this party's a failure, it's on you. Did you find anything? Yeah, I found something. Klaus is trying to ruin my dinner party. Come on, we should check the basement. Good idea. And while we're down there, we can grab the good dessert plates. Dessert? We're not even going to survive the pasta course. Tuttle's dead? Does that mean I'm only feeding seven? You guys would tell me if this party wasn't going well, right? Oh, Roger, while you're in there, grab the plates. Plates, 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 plates. I hate your stupid, ugly plates. <gasps> The plates are right behind me, aren't they? Ah! Yeah, Tuttle! What's this? The killer must have dropped it. It's a lens from a monocle. But the only person I know who wears a monocle is... Feeling safe with the colonel. Implicitly trust the colonel. Only place left to look is that dark old shed, Steve. Ah! What's wrong, boy? Are you nervous that I don't have enough knives? Don't worry, I've got extra. Going to the shed with the colonel. Never seen that look from the colonel. Oh my god, Bullock's dead! I am? What a huge blow to the civil rights movement! Stan, we found this monocle next to Tuttle's dead body. Colonel Withersby is the killer! And he's with Steve! Ah! We're too late! Get away from Steve, you monster! But he's still hugging my scaries away. We were coming back from the shed, and we found this body. With this bag of euros next to it. Who the hell is it? Let me through, let me through! Oh, God, that's Vikram! He was just trying to bring us euros, and someone killed him for it! Not someone, the Colonel. I believe your monocle is missing something. That's a prescription lens. Mine is clear glass. I only wear this because without it, my outfit would look ridiculous. Which means the killer is someone else. But who? What's this? The killer must have dropped it. It's lipstick. And the only people here who wear lipstick are Francine and Haley. I don't wear makeup. You make fun of me for it all the time. And I haven't spent a cent on lipstick ever since I got my lips tattooed cherry red. Although, I do spend a ton on hepatitis meds now. Hello? It's Greg! The party's saved! What happened? Last thing I remember, I was in the bathroom and heard the door open. Next thing I know, I woke up in the bathtub. Oh, you probably got lead piped. I got lead piped earlier. So, what's been going on? Everyone looks good. What's going on is Tuttle is dead! And we found two clues. A monocle and some lipstick. He's squinting. Of course! You see, when Greg reads the news, he has no problem with the teleprompter. But whenever he's handed a note on air, he puts on the glasses he keeps in his jacket pocket. See? Missing a lens. <gasps> well, that explains the lens, but what about the lipstick, Roger? Great question, Stan. You see, every newscaster wears makeup. But since the advent of HD, it's more important than ever. Isn't it, Greg? Are you accusing me of being a killer? Why would I do something like that? You needed a story. And what could possibly be a better story than a dinner party killer? A story about an elephant and a cheater at the zoo being friends. Shut up! You made up the killer and had to kill to keep the story going. And thus, you became the dinner party killer. <gasps> now, let's lock this maniac in the basement so we can all relax and get back to this fabulous part. God damn it! I've been stabbed, and I felt the killer's face in the dark. I know exactly who it is. The killer 
Stan's name will surprise you. The killer is Stan. Francine, Haley, everyone pay attention to what I'm about to say. This is Greg Corbin with my final report. The killer was... It should have been me. I should have been the one falling from the ceiling, killing the ladies' man. Papa, I'm scared. What should we do? We need to stick together. All of us in one place? That's just what the killer would want. He's right. We should split up. No way. Easier to pick us off. That's just what the killer would want. Oh, God, the killer wants so many things. How will we ever please him? We need to settle down and think rationally. Klaus, we're ready for the pineapple whips. Okay, Klaus, you produced zero food up to this point. They need dessert, and they need it now. It's time to use your secret weapon. Five blenders. Oh, not again! We must remain calm. I believe I'm being stabbed. Don't worry, dessert is on the way. It is confirmed. Someone is stabbing me right now. All right, whoever is stabbing Bullock Fessa? I'm looking for a light. This killer is like a cat, toying with me, keeping me barely alive. Oh, no, that's the finishing blow. Good night, everybody. I got it, I got a flashlight. Hello? Stay calm, Roger. <coughs> ah! Hello? Stan? Steve? Thank God, Stan. Ah! Entrails! Steve? Right here? This is crazy. There's a killer on the loose. <laughs> Killer, show yourself! Ah, this flashlight is so heavy. Just need to rest my arm for one second. Why do I even have a gym membership? It's like I pay $24.99 to not go to the gym. Ah! 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 That just leaves me. That's right. So now you know who did it. Do you want to know why? Ah! You bastard! I trusted you! I loved you! I shredded Tahoe with you! Surprise! What? What? It was all fake, Roger. The deaths, the power outages, all planned out to the last detail. You all alive. Everything was fake. Even this knife I stabbed the colonel with. Ah, this knife is real. That was not part of the plan. But the rest... Oh, we got you good. <coughs> you should have seen your face. But I saw the bodies. The blood. Well, we knew we had to make it look real. So we stashed bottles of ketchup around the house. Which we learned to find in the dark. For my death, I hid a bunch of spaghetti in my pants. But how did you know what I would do and say? That's where I come in. I wrote over 1,800 pages of dialogue to account for any possibility. We spent months rehearsing to make sure we got the performances just right. Vikram threatened to walk out multiple times. But Vikram killed it. He's a shining star. <coughs> Costing coach. Okay, now I perfectly understand how. But why? Because for years you've been screwing up things we care about with your ridiculous schemes. So we decided to give you a taste of your own medicine. Wow, you really taught me a lesson today. My pranks, they're childish. You don't deserve that. You deserve to be terrorized, like you just terrorized me. That's not And a... I vow, the next time I come at you, it'll be a thousand times harder than you came at me, because that's how much I love you. Told you this was pointless. Either way, it was a hell of a party. A party for the ages. Absolute rager. Oh, man, we really got to get you to a hospital. But first, how did you fake the dinner party killer? He he's been on the news for weeks. Oh, he's real. We just used him to sell the ruse. Oh, smart. 416 Cherry Street. No problem. What are you up to tonight? Going to a dinner party. Heard about it on the news. It's supposed to be killer. Cool. You have any music preference? Whatever you got. Reggae it is. Hey, you give me five stars, I give you five stars. Oh, my God.